Welcome back. You can't kill me straight away to make this Lunar upset. Like how many- some coil synergy too. Yep. Okay, let's go for a snap fire. But I'm liking the draft coming out from the side here of Navi with that negative armor strat. I mean, Immersion has been incredibly careful with it. In fact, he's the one that's setting up most of these stuns as well, so. I think he'll be alright. And that being said, over here, Roger getting clicked down. Looks like they're gonna be happy oh. to take down the courier instead, because it is, of course, the Ring of Hell. And is he gonna get a kill here too? Ooh, the dream for dream. Over here on Iceberg, it's the Arcane. It's gonna be poking away here on Suneko. Gonna go for the Dream Coil as well. Looking for the stop. Nice silence though from Iceberg, waiting patiently. And his little telegraph's gonna just poke forward here. Needs another click or two, and down goes Suneko. I don't think they're gonna be able to do much of anything here to no one. But you see the wrap around here coming out from Merchant. The teleports are coming out. Nice cookie coming out from Roger. As they go and use the Stampede, they'll be able to stun up the puck. Turning right back around again, the Dream Coil. Perhaps the Dragonite has gone a little bit too far here as they'll also join in and down will go the Dragon Knight. Waiting to come forward. Just gonna clear the wave most likely and we'll see if they stick around and finish this tower. Looks like they're gonna In try the meantime, to make a play. After life, the cookie hop. They've got the little shredder, the root into play. Stomp does come out, but he's very tanky and you just, you can't run away from this. He finds the kill on Roger, but does eventually get slain by Iceberg. That's the, the value of Luna. It is not like taking an even team fight and like just, Picking off heroes, but killing enemy heroes at the start of the fight is huge. And here Ooh, we'll see if we can Smoke on smoke off. action. All right, the jump immediately over on Luna. She's trying to just dodge around. Knows that she's probably not going to survive this, so will fall, but they'll find the kill and always want to fly over in the back lines. No one is just chasing after uh, Roger here, who has already used that cookie, so he is slowly just oh, getting chipped down. And oh, look at that. <laughs> that finger from downtown over there. My goodness. It does the two attacks off of the Lucent Beam target, so it helps you, even with a right-click build, accelerate, um, puts them in a good position. But Adesso is up on B-Tune, so this would be a decent time for Navi to fight. Yeah, well, they're going to initiate again on Ramsey's a follow-up, though, from Iceberg, as they manage to... Oh, they just absolutely blow up Immersion as all of their ultimates just getting tossed out over here. So not looking great. The buyback now from the Lion. No one had jumped into the back lines. They still have that Lincoln's online. And the Luna is just ticking down with all this damage over on the side. Cookie Hop going forward. Is it going to be enough to save all his... Yes, it is. He's going to be fine as they go right back in. That Aegis will indeed get popped. No one, though, still alive, still chasing after them here. Has his attention now over here on that snap fire after life will follow up the lucent beam from dream will clean up but they did force a buyback out of immersion during all of that by the oracle to protect him without having to use his ulti mm, initiation again cookie out not going to save them as immersion gets another stack to drop the splitter as uh, they find the pick off over on immersion and the dump forward here from afterlife is Ooh. able to take down iceberg now they're still chasing after Ramses as the BKBs were popped over here on the side of no one and of course V2 who just wants to get out. They don't have any way to cancel it. But uh, this is not looking great now for Roger and Ramses as they are left behind. And Roger just a little bit too squishy. So eventually, are they going to just look? Oh no, he's got the Glimmer Cape. He's actually going to survive. But it's not looking as promising for Ramses, although they're using everything in the kitchen sink to try to take him down. But look at this boy. He is so tanky. They'll even go and just use the Oracle Ultimate to try to keep him alive. And perhaps no one has gone just a bit too far because they will be able to take him out. And they're going to try to re-engage here. Ravage, of course, going to be up in a couple seconds. This is a good stop here from Afterlife. Okay, that time Ramses is not going to be protected <laughs> as he does get blown up by the Eclipse. They're still yeah, thinking about going eclipse. in, though. V-Tune. Making his way forward. See Saneko has that Deso online. Lucent Beam will buy a little bit more time. Saneko trying to just teleport out. He is going to get rooted into nice. place and he's going to get nuked down by Always Want to Fly. Yeah, Fate Seeder came out instantly to protect him from any magic damage fall. Break again, though. Break again. Do they want to go in on this, though? It's just the battle of the tanky boys right now. All right, they'll finally go and they'll use the Oracle ulti because they used the BK... Or, not the BKB. What did they use there? They did use BKB and DK, yeah. They did use the BKB. Oh, gosh. Yeah, but Oracle ulti on cooldown for 80 seconds. This is an okay window. You could also argue there's a little timer where BKB comes back up, but... They're, they're looking for the fight. They've got MKB ready. They don't have Satanic just yet, but... All right, that is, there it is. They follow up. They had a beautiful Dream Coil, but they've also got the Eclipse coming out from Dream now as V2 and, and Dream just trying to fight each other, and they're not really finding success. Oh, the Ravage just barely clipping two of them. The Cookie Hop forward. They do manage to take down Dream. And the Bash coming out as well over onto Afterlife. He tries to get the Stomp off, but it's not enough to save his life as the gem. Oh, going high ground here. Ninja Gear gets found by Luna. And the meanwhile... That's nice. Nice, uh, yeah. Definitely something nice for her. 
protect her a little bit. Lotus Orb is placed over onto V-Tune. It's rooted into place, though, as all the other TV... Oh, my goodness. Oh my all right. God. You know, we God. talked about Centaur looking tanky, but he doesn't look tanky at all when that comes down. The Sleeve, the Stomp, the Earth Spike. Dream Coil gets used over on the Luna. She's being held off to the side as the jump forward over here from V-Tune to still just leash up. And there's a decent amount of damage, but they've got the Oracle to just keep him alive and healthy. The Ravage comes out. Dream goes down, but they are going to buy back these Mortimer Kisses just landing right square over onto Sineko. So they jump into the back line, though. They find always want to fly. The Cookie up forward. The, oh, my goodness. No one is just ripped to shreds as now V-Tune's just running over here, over at the Luna, over at the line. It's a good sleep. It's a good stomp. But can they do anything else beyond this? They bought back on so many heroes and they're just losing oh. them. The age just finally goes down, but then so does Dream. Ramsey's just running at him with their face. A cookie hop forward, just a little bit too far forward over here. Not going to be able to go land on no one, but look at V2. Look at these oh, daggers. Broken. Look at this damage, this negative armor. The GG gets called. And the V looking very, very strong here. They're going to try to contest the team fight, right? Like the team yeah, fights. Maybe an underlord or something. All right. Now, this is a hero I was spamming at the start of the patch. All right. And he right. wins his lane. This hero owns. 315 base move speed. They've given him like four base strength and two patches. Yep. Dream a bit, going for the max uh, purification build. I was a little unsure what skill build he'd go for, but this one will give him the best ability to harass Juggernaut. The bottom lane, though, always want to fly, is ticking down to these flame spirits, and it is going to be Immersion who gets the first blood. But now Iceberg, no one's trying to plink away a little bit. They'll get the double Nova off, try to slow. Go, use the Illusory Orb. I don't think that Puck really wants to show up there. Suneko, again, tossed up into the air. It's just a matter of time. Who's going to get it? It's going to be Iceberg because the body blocks are coming out from Roger, and they take their time in hitting that Crystal Maiden. TP bottom from Tiny in a good position here. Yes, Maybe he they can get Life. Yep. They've got the Avalanche looking, waiting oh, no. here. No, not going to be able to go and toss back just yet. The jump forward, though, coming out from V2 and Afterlife going. And there's the toss up, and they do manage to burst down Afterlife. Top short, lane. Oh, Ramses is just tanking the Omni Slash. The opportunity presented itself, and Dream took it. Blink Dagger, about 200 away. No one is creeping his way over. Does walk right into the Tiny, and they have the follow-up this time around. With that silence, they're going to try to buy a little bit more time. The Avalanche comes through, and the Guardian Angel, nice. but not quite enough to save him as Immersion finds kill. And now Iceberg is should be able to... Uh, oh, oh, he... Nice. Oh, boy. TP's out. And he is going to run into this Phoenix. And he tabs V-Tune also here. They'll open up Vendetta with the Impale follow-up. They do have an Ice Blast, but doesn't quite connect. The Spike Carapace, though, will slow down Immersion. And I don't think they have quite enough damage here, as it looks like now. now they're just on the back foot. They're trying Bye. to run away. Can they find V-Tune in time, though, is the oh. question. No, he's going to be able to go Very a little good. bit more. Ramsey's, though, left behind here. Egg is going to come out. Roger turning around. He starts to give a couple of these clicks off. Not going to be able to do anything. Oh, Ramsey's, though, with the Guardian Engine. It's not enough. Dream collects the kill. Egg goes off on the back lines. Roger, just one little Roger alone can't take down an egg. And he has not felt quite as strong as I was hoping he would be, considering his start here. He's going to break smoke on Immersion, though. Mm -hmm. And forward over onto Iceberg with the Silence. They go, they use the Dream Coil to stop here from Afterlife, the spin to boot. Iceberg will fall. Which is kind of uh, surprising. The, the games, at least these two matches so far today, have been a little bit farm heavy and slow, but not for lack of trying. Iceberg has been trying to get kills, but his, <laughs> his opponents are just shutting it down with a uh, you know, nice rotation. Smoke breaks, this looks Smoke pretty breaks. good. The jump on the back line, though, with the silence. Always want to fly. We'll fall, but over on the side. Roger getting tossed up. We'll land on Suneko. They'll find the kill to Dagger. Icarus dive coming out for the Phoenix as he goes in over onto the high ground. Great positioning for this egg. Dream Quest going to land over onto two, though, as Iceberg tries to run away. The egg will indeed pop. Iceberg still alive, trying to bottle through. Eventually, he will fall to Dream as the hunt is on now from Mon Monaco Gambit, they're looking to grab any sort of stragglers, but they're not quite finding anyone. His, his ward. That way, if he sees his opponents, he can jump on them. Like, he could definitely could kill Phoenix right now, for example. Especially when the Ice oh, Blast stress. lands like that. But there's uh -oh. a Puck nearby. Snakeo's here as well. It'll be the jump forward. They want to just get rid of Immersion. They'll be able to do it. Stomp coming out, though. Perhaps they've just gotten a bit too greedy as V-Tune has to go jump over to Roger. They need to be able to sh close this gap. As you can see, the Puck trying his best, trying to do some body block. Not going to be able to do it as they do manage to see Roger. More body blocks coming out. They've got the freeze. They've got the vision. They've got the dust on top of that. The leap forward from Afterlife. Okay. And down goes Roger. That could have gone so much worse for V-Tune there. Mm -hmm. Knowing that that disable follow-up is really important. And the live game oh. always want to find trouble, though. Yeah, he will fall again. We get another nice Icarus dive over the back lines, though. 
Gonna try. Oh, look at the Sunrise doing so much. A snake does fall. Iceberg also going down, and so does Immersion. Roger trying the best he can to throw out the Impales. Not gonna be able to quite do what is afterlife. Chasing after Ramses here. Does land the stomp, the double edge. No one is gonna go join back in. And again, these body blocks have been the name of the game here. Over on the side, Roger just barely able to crawl away. Perhaps maybe yeah. the puck can make a cheeky play. Okay, the Fire Spirit tossed out. Roger. Trying to get in front and forward here. They get the egg, but it's going to be the, uh, the... Oh, wow. V2 actually snatching up that Aegis. We went for the Swift, Swift Slash first to initiate and yeah. like, feel things out. And it looked good. He's like, all right, let's keep slashing. And he jumps all the way over to the neutrals instead. Uh, really unfortunate there for him. No one needing to be careful. They do have a sentry ward down, though, so they can see Roger on his way over. Spike Carapace, they'll fall up with the Dream uh -oh. Coil. Aeon just does get popped as they leap immediately over onto Roger, and the Sunray does a decent amount of damage to take him out. And there's the spin coming out from Dream. V Tune had jumped in pretty far there, but not quite going to find any more kills. that they're playing around uh, V Tune there. There's a courier over here at the secret shop. They have to. Ooh. Nope, they'll fortify up the courier. Look at Roger, though. He's on the hunt. Waiting, and he just takes... Oh, no. Those Ooh, are the Blitz Knuckles, and they also take down Always Wanna Fly, at least in the meanwhile. <laughs> but, um, yeah, pressure in the high ground. V2 knows he can get away with it. Oh, he saw it running over there. Okay, that's why. Oh, yeah. Nailed yeah, they, they briefly saw it over by the secret shop, and then uh, they watched it just go right across. Roger was in good position. In fact, Roger again in a very nice position here as he immediately sees no one. No one will just hide away. But the leap forward here from v Tune absolutely just slicing Dream into ribbons. Has all those knives. Oh, it's not looking bash. great. The bash. Can they finish up? No, there's going to be the egg. Three of them all grouped around this egg, though. They don't seem to care. They don't have enough magic damage to do anything about this Guardian Angel as they go right back in after after. It's a triple kill now for v Tune. They want more. Can they find it, though, is the question as the rest of them just run right back into their fountain. Oh, they read that team fight so good there. Uh, they jump in instantly, uh, get a couple pickoffs, and, and they just call game. just called. Wow. There's no buyback on Jug. The game just ended.